Yeah, yeah, so the next one was Cannibal Creek. Well, that one was interesting. So. Geez, that is straight down. Wow. Pick right hand down, right hand down, right hand down, mate. Now. No, I got no turn there at all. No turn there at all. His steering wheel got ripped out of his hands as he's approaching a section downhill and he actually had no steering. Rick tried to go back but he's past that point of entry so going back wasn't going to work. The toolbox is going to hung up, going to cause damage. What we come up with, uh, we got behind Rick said, mate, we're going to have to use your rear winch just to pull you back, take the pressure off the steering, pressure off that right, uh, left hand front wheel which was a bit of concern. It was up against the bank, so hooked up the the Sherpa winch to the back. Got a wound it out, hooked it up, ready to go. Pulled him back, stayed stayed in um, communication with him. So I'm going to pull you back, Rick. You ready? Yep. Right. With the expedition trucks, they're they're a big unit. They're far bigger than your, your everyday land cruiser patrol with height. Weight is a big issue. The front winch is a common thing. Rear winch is not so common, but so glad we got the rear winches on the trucks. Just for that situation, you can pull yourself out of trouble. You can't get a vehicle around the front. There's no winching point at the front. So having a front and rear winch is just good insurance for your truck, just to get you out of trouble when needed. And believe me, we have used them. Hold that line, don't move, hold that line. Well, that was different. Um, so what happened is I ended up sliding down. I had a little bit too much left hand down and hooked up on the bank. Um, so John's pulled me back up with a, with a 25,000 pound Sherpa. They've done a great job pulling me back up that hill. Um, just to be able to, for me to be able to release the, um, the left hand down, get out to the right a little bit and just lower me down nice and slow. So yeah, textbook recovery, but um, worked great. So yeah, good on Jono. After Rick got down to um Cannibal Creek with a, a bit of help with the rear winch and all that. It was my turn to canter, so I thought I'd take a slightly different line, a bit more to the right hand side. Um, went down quite okay, but the same spot that Rick actually wheels turned on me without um, any control of it. Same thing happened to me. But being the tray back at the moment, I was able just to pull out enough to get me by. Yeah, so then we turned up at Cypress Creek. So that one was a bit nerve wracking. Now we heard they got washed away in the wet, then also heard it got rebuilt. To what extent, we weren't sure. So John went across first in the, in the canter. So being quite a bit lighter than the Isuzu, which is coming in probably six tonne or maybe a touch better. So um, yeah, definitely nerve wracking to, to see um, that in front of you. Got across the, in the canner, was pretty relieved, I tell you. So I'm all safe and happy on the other side, and it was Rick's turn. So he's sitting over there in his truck, a lot heavier truck. So we picked the line, so Rick, just stick to your line, mate, and just poke across, don't muck around. But I reckon he would have been peaking. What's going to be Rick's d danger here, mate? Uh, width and weight. So I reckon just don't hang around too long, nice and steady. We'll get him lined up square on as possible, and yeah, don't even try to turn, just square on, just yeah, ease across it and don't panic. Um, logs look good, the can has been over. Um, oh, there's a little bit of bouncing in there, so it's, um, yeah, this will be interesting. Hopefully, we don't have an Isuzu truck right down there. A pretty daunting on his behalf to take a six-ton 
truck over a log bridge that's got ratchet straps tight together. So that's a long way down. Let's um, yep, come through. hope this all goes well. Mitch, right hand down. Mitch, come and keep moving. Yeah, so going across um, Cyprus, log bridge, yeah, your heart's going, you're just going. Am I going to end up down in this hole or what? Am I going to be <laughs> calling the insurance company and giving them the great news? Cool, cool, cool. Hold that line, hold that line. Left hand, right hand down, right hand down, right hand down, right hand down, come straight. I'll let the old heart slow down. <laughs> I don't know if I want a coffee or beer or rum at the moment. <laughs> well, there's two across. Good job, man. Hey. <laughs> Do the telly track in a the truck, they say. It'll be fun, they say. <laughs> Bloody hell. Then we turned up at Nolan's, so we um, we thought we'll play it safe. So John and I went for a bit of a walk through. The first thing you do when you get to Nolan's, you've got to have a look at it. Uh, it changes every season and also the amount of traffic goes through it does change it's got a very soft floaty bottom and it varies on the amount of water that comes through so you've got to get in so that's exactly what we did before we get in there have a feel around check the depth then make pick our line and go from there all right so we're at nolan's the final crossing on the telly track so it's a little bit soft over here so we're going to um, set up my winch um, just in case i'm going to go first you are Yep. You've got it, mate. I've got no front winch. Yeah. Just, just in case. Just in just case. In, yeah, because yeah, it, is, it is soft there, like you said. Yeah. So um, so if I get through all good, yep. then I'll give you a tug too. And yep, happy days. Then, then we've done it. Then you're shouting beers. Nope. Fair enough. <laughs> um, we decided to pull the winch rope out, have it all ready, um, just to minimise any risk. We were pretty confident it was going to be fine. Um, it was a bit soft in the sand just on the exit. So again, just erring on the caution or erring on the side of safety. We thought it was a smart idea uh, to get the um, recovery gear set up, um, uh, tree trunk protector, um, yeah, the shackles all ready to go just in case it went foul. Honestly, mate, I reckon you'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. We know it's a heavy truck. Um, not, doesn't appear to be a lot of water here. Um, if it just nudges in and just a bit of momentum, I reckon, you, yeah, I reckon you go all right. Righto, Nolan's. Been a lot of years since I've crossed here. Still looks uh, very much the same from what I come through maybe eight years ago now, um, this bit. So there's a little bit of a deep spot there on the edge. Um, yeah, let's see how we go here. Rick dropped into Nylons. Uh, the drop in's quite, it's quite deep um, as it's known to be. Yeah, just try and push a little wave in front and see how we go. Too easy. Yeah, didn't even know it was there, so that was great. Look, driving through Nolans was great. It was, yeah, heaps of people sitting around on chairs, watching, spectating as they always do. So, um, yeah, like anything, you drop in the first bit and you think, geez, am I going to go through? But um, no, nah, she just huddled through there. No problem at all. It was great. Then Rick goes through Nolans, like safely and all that, being a heavier truck. Got back, got in the can of it, a much lighter truck, older truck, lighter truck. Um, so, yeah, I thought, oh, here we go. He's going to show me up here. Dropped into it, picked the line of we discussed earlier, and um, yeah, it's, just, it's pretty good. No drama at all. Yeah, so the telly track this year compared to last year. Last year I was driving the 79, so um, way smaller than driving a truck. So um, you're forever looking left, right, worrying about your mirrors, worrying about the side of your canopy. Just, there's no rest, it's full on the whole time. The big difference with the telly track to other like famous tracks Australia wide, whether it be the Simpson Desert or that, it depends on what wet season it might have had. Uh, big wet, small wet, but it does change. And um, over the years, the amount of times I've done it, Every season has changed, so um, you just got to be prepared for it. Um, 
what's going to come up might not be the same as last year or the year before the year before. The tally track is a track that honestly, like you do it once, um, you've done it, but it draws you back and you can do it five times. For over five years, six years, it draws you back but could change every year. Yeah, look, so trucks on the tally track definitely can be done. We've just proved that. Um, no issue at all. If you're worried about your paintwork, well, you might want to rethink it or just suck it up. Um, or put a wrap on it, put some paint protection, but um, definitely can be done. Yeah, you just can't be too precious about your gear. Well, Jono, that's the tally track done and dusted. Mate, hey, end of it, Nolan Crook. Yeah. How, how good was it? That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Trucks tested, done. Yeah. The only place that didn't go through was Palm Creek. Palm Creek was too tight, disappointing. But, that's um, the only reason. Yeah. We've got to give him the crack. Yeah, we're here to do it. So, um, yeah, now um, pack her up, back to Weeper, pick up Jamie. He should be in. And we'll go and start the next adventure. Let's see how he goes in the new truck, mate. Yeah. yeah. I reckon, yeah, you might have it over him. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, mate. Well done. Good on you, mate. Cheers. This is exploring off the grid.